object.create method is used to create new objects in JavaScript. This method uses an existing object to create new objects. So this existing object acts as a prototype for the newly created objects. In this lecture, I'm going to explain object.create method in great detail. So the object.create method creates a new object using an existing object as the prototype of the newly created object. Okay, so this object.create method uses an existing object and this existing object acts as a prototype for the newly created objects. So the first thing what we want to do is we want to create this prototype object. Let's create this prototype object and let's call it person. And to create this object, we are going to use this object literal. Now we want a city property and a calculate age method for this person object. So let's do that. Let's create this city property and let's say city is London. And we want to have this calculate age method. So calculate age and let's create this function. And the first thing which we want to do is we want to get the current year. And for that, we are using this date object. This date object has this get full year method, which will give us the current year. Then we want to calculate the age and the age can be calculated by subtracting year of birth from the current year. So current year minus this dot year of birth. Now this year of birth is not a property of this person object. We will get the value of this year of birth from the objects which will be created using this person object as its prototype. Okay. And finally, we want to log this age in the developer console. So console.log, let's log this age. So this is our prototype object, which is person. Now, the object.create method creates a new object. Okay, so we use this object.create method to create a new object. Okay, and this new object is created based on an existing object, which is the which acts as the prototype of the newly created object. So let's create a John object. And we want to create this John object using this object.create method. So object.create. Now this as the definition says this object.create method creates a new object based on an existing object which acts as a prototype okay so to this object.create method this create method expects a parameter which is the prototype object okay and based on that prototype object it will create a new object so the prototype object in this case we are going to use this person object okay so let's pass this person object as the prototype object. So now this object.create method will create an empty John object. Okay. And this empty John object will inherit properties and methods of this person object. And that's because we have passed this person object as the prototype object to this object.create method. So now when I log this John object, you will see an empty object logged in the developer console. And when you expand that empty object, this empty object has this proto property. And when you expand that proto property, you will see this calculate age method and this city property. So this John object does not has a property or method of its own, but it is inheriting this calculate age method and this city property from this person object. Okay. So this proto is nothing but this person object and to prove this let's say john dot proto and let's do the equality check with person object and when i press enter it returns true and this proves that this proto is nothing but this person object so here we have created an empty john object let's add some properties to this john object so let's say 
john dot name equals john let's also add year of birth property to this john object so year of birth and let's say john was born in 1990 and let's also add the occupation property and let's say john is a teacher and this should be semicolon here okay so now we have added three properties to this john object let's refresh the page again and this time this john object should have this name occupation and year of birth property of its own and it should also inherit this calculate age and city property from this person object and since this john object is inheriting this calculate age method from this person object we should be able to access this calculate age method on this john object so let's say john dot calculate age okay so when we are calling this calculate age method on this john object inside this calculate age method this variable will point to that john object okay because we are calling this calculate age method on this john object so this variable will point to that john object so it is similar to john dot year of birth and what is the value of john dot year of birth it's 1990 okay so this will be the value of this dot year of birth is 1990 and the current year we are getting from here so currently the current year is 2020 okay so it will subtract 1990 from 2020 and will give us the result and then we are logging that result let's save the changes let's refresh the page and you see 30 is logged here so everything is working as expected so this is how you can create a new object using object.create method based on an existing object now in this example we created an empty john object using this object.create method and then we attached some properties to this john object but it is also possible to pass the properties which we want for our object as the second parameter to this object.create method and the second parameter is optional parameter okay so let's see how to do that let's create a new object called mark and let's again create this mark object using this object.create method so object.create and the first parameter of this object.create should be the prototype object and the prototype object in this case will be the person object and the second parameter should be the properties which we want for this mark object and that will be passed as the as an object okay so we want name property and value for this name property can be assigned like this inside the curly braces we say value and then we assign the value so let's say name value for name property is mark then we also want to have year of birth property okay so to assign the value for this year of birth property again we will use curly braces inside that we will use this value keyword and we will assign the value for this year of birth property okay so we only want these two properties for this mark object let's now log this mark object in developer console so console.log and let's log this mark object let's save the changes let's refresh the page so now we have this mark object if i expand this mark object we have this name year of birth property and when i expand this proto property we will have this calculate age and city property okay so this mark object is also inheriting this calculate age and city property from this person object and that's because we are passing this person object as the prototype object for creating this mark object okay so this object.create method takes two parameter the first parameter is the prototype object and the second parameter is the properties for that object and the second parameter is an optional parameter and since this mark object is inheriting from this person object okay that means this mark object has inherited the city and calculate age method of this person object we can also call this calculate age method on this mark object so let's say mark dot calculate age and let's also call let's log the city so let's say 
console.log and we want to log the city of mark so mark dot city let's save the changes refresh the page so age of mark is logged so here we are logging the you know we are calling this calculate age method which will log the age of mark so age of mark is 25 and then here we are logging the city so city is london if you like this lecture like this video subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends